In the ancient groves of Nippal, under the shade of the Bodhi tree, Gautama Buddha would often gather his students. With a gentle voice and a presence that radiated calm, he imparted wisdom that has transcended centuries. Today, we revisit his teachings, focusing on a theme he frequently emphasized, the profound power of silence. My dear students, Buddha would begin, his eyes reflecting a deep understanding of the world. Remember the words I share with you. He who does not understand your silence will probably not understand your words. He would pause, letting the depth of this statement sink in. In the realm of our incessant thoughts and the constant din of the world, there lies a potent strength in quietude. As we embark on this journey through Buddha's insights, let each lesson resonate deeply, guiding us towards inner peace and understanding. Lesson 1. The Reflection of Inner Peace Silence is a mirror reflecting our inner peace, taught the Buddha. Imagine silence as a still lake, its surface smooth and unbroken. When we are silent, our minds become like that lake, calm and clear. It is in these moments of quiet, away from the hustle and bustle of daily life, that we can truly see ourselves as we are, without the distortions of external noise and distractions. In these pauses, away from the chatter of the world and the constant stream of thoughts, we find rare clarity and serenity. Just as a mirror reflects our outer image, silence reflects our inner selves. In the tranquil moments of stillness, we are given the opportunity to look inward, to reflect on our thoughts, feelings, and deepest desires. This introspection is a powerful tool for self-discovery and personal growth. Moreover, in the embrace of silence, we can find a sense of peace that is often elusive in our busy lives. This peace is not just the absence of noise, but a deep, fulfilling calm that nourishes our spirit. It allows us to rest, recharge, and reconnect with the core of our being. In this sacred space, we can find solace and a deeper understanding of who we are and what truly matters to us. So, as Buddha taught, let us cherish the silent moments. Let us use them as a mirror to reflect on our inner selves, to find clarity in our thoughts, and to embrace the peace that comes from within. Lesson 2. The Strength in Restraint Lesson 2 delves into the virtue of restraint, a principle deeply cherished by Gautama Buddha. He advised, speak only when it improves upon silence. Imagine each word as a precious stone. Use them sparingly and with intention, for their value is immeasurable. In this lesson, we understand that words indeed have the power to inspire, heal, and connect. However, their true strength is not just in their expression, but also in their restraint. By choosing silence over unnecessary speech, we exercise a form of self-control that is both powerful and enlightening. This practice teaches us patience as we learn to pause and reflect before speaking. It's about developing the wisdom to recognize the moments when words can truly add value and when silence can speak volumes. In those pauses, we find the space to listen, to understand, and to connect more deeply with others and ourselves. Remember, it's not about suppressing our voice, but about enhancing the quality of our communication. Every time we hold back a hasty word, we are not just being silent. We are actively cultivating patience, thoughtfulness, and a deeper sense of awareness. This is the strength in restraint, a profound lesson from Buddha on the power of mindful speech. Lesson 3. Listening as an act of love. Buddha often spoke about the art of listening as an act of love. Listening, a skill that transcends mere silence. He taught, true silence is not merely the absence of speech, but is an active, attentive state. In silence, we hear more than words, he would say. This profound statement underlines the importance of deep, empathetic listening. It's about being fully present in the moment, absorbing not just the words of the speaker, but also their emotions, expressions, and unspoken thoughts. In this practice of mindful listening, we offer a gift of love and respect to the speaker. It's a way of saying, your thoughts and feelings are important to me. This kind of attentiveness fosters deeper connections, understanding, and compassion. When we listen in this way, 
we do more than hear. We engage with the heart and soul of the other person. We create a space where true understanding and connection can flourish. Buddha emphasized that such listening is not passive, but an active, deliberate choice. It requires us to quiet our inner chatter, to set aside our judgments and preconceptions, and to open our hearts to truly understand the other person. This is the essence of mindful communication, a dialogue where we listen as much with our hearts as with our ears. Through this practice, we not only understand others better, but also discover greater peace and clarity within ourselves. As we incorporate this lesson into our daily lives, let us remember that every conversation is an opportunity to practice this art of listening, to transform our interactions into acts of love and understanding. In doing so, we honor Buddha's teachings and enrich our connections with those around us. Lesson 4. The Seed of Wisdom Wisdom grows in quiet spaces, Buddha often said, a profound reminder that true wisdom is more than just accumulated knowledge. It's a living, growing essence that flourishes in tranquility. Imagine a seed buried beneath the soil, awaiting the right conditions to sprout. Similarly, our deepest insights and understandings often lie dormant within us, needing the nourishing environment of silence to emerge. In the stillness of our minds, away from the distractions and noise of everyday life, we create a sanctuary where wisdom can blossom. Think of a quiet room, free from the chatter of voices and the clamor of the world. In this serene space, your thoughts are not drowned out by external sounds, but have the freedom to stretch, grow, and intertwine, forming new ideas and perspectives. Buddha taught that it is in these moments of quiet contemplation that our mind can delve into the depths of understanding grappling with life's complexities and emerging with pearls of wisdom. Silence, thus, is not merely an absence of sound. It's a fertile ground, a sacred space where the seeds of wisdom, those innate truths and revelations, can take root, grow, and eventually bear fruit. As we embrace silence in our lives, we're not just seeking a momentary respite from the world's cacophony. We are actively engaging in a process of cultivation, nurturing the seeds of wisdom within us. Each silent moment is an opportunity to reflect, learn, and grow in understanding. This is the essence of Buddha's teaching on wisdom, an active, dynamic process that occurs in the quiet corners of our mind and soul, where our deepest truths can be realized and embraced. Lesson 5. The Balance of Mind and Speech In the teachings of Gautama Buddha, the concept of balance is paramount, extending its roots deep into every aspect of life, including the delicate art of communication. Buddha emphasized the importance of harmonious balance, not just in our actions, but also in our words and thoughts. He often guided his followers with the principle, let your words be few and seasoned with silence. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of mindful speaking. To understand this better, imagine speech as seasoning, like salt in a dish, just as the right amount of salt can enhance the flavor of a meal, the right words spoken at the right time can have a powerful and positive impact. On the contrary, excessive words, like too much salt, can lead to undesirable outcomes. Silence, in this analogy, is the space that allows the flavor of our words to be appreciated and absorbed. Buddha's emphasis on the balance of mind and speech is a call to cultivate self-awareness in our daily communications. Before speaking, it's essential to pause and reflect. Is what I'm about to say necessary? Is it true? Is it kind? This reflection ensures that our words are not just impulsive reactions but thoughtful responses. It encourages us to listen more and speak less, fostering deeper understanding and empathy in our interactions. Moreover, this balance leads to a harmonious life by reducing conflicts and misunderstandings. When we speak less but with more intention, we become more attuned to the needs and feelings of others. Our relationships deepen, and our words gain more respect and weight. Buddha's teaching in this lesson is about finding the golden mean in our speech, a path that avoids the extremes of excessive talkativeness and complete reticence. It's about understanding that sometimes the most profound communication happens not through words, but through the thoughtful silence that surrounds them. 
Lesson 6. The Power of Mindful Speech Mindful speech is born in silence. Buddha often reminded his followers. This profound statement encapsulates timeless wisdom about the way we communicate. In our fast-paced world where words are often spoken without much thought, the Buddha's teaching invites us to pause and reflect before we speak. He proposed a simple yet powerful guideline to help us practice mindful speech. Firstly, is it true? Before uttering a word, we are encouraged to consider the truthfulness of what we are about to say. This means not just avoiding outright lies, but also staying away from exaggerations or distortions of reality. Truth forms the foundation of trust and integrity in our interactions with others. Secondly, is it necessary? This question urges us to think about the usefulness and relevance of our words. Are we adding value to the conversation, or just filling the silence? Buddha taught that unnecessary words often lead to clutter and confusion, detracting from the essence of what needs to be communicated. Lastly, is it kind? This is perhaps the most significant guideline. It asks us to reflect on the impact our words will have on others. Kindness in speech involves more than just not saying hurtful things. It's about using our words to uplift, encourage, and comfort those around us. Buddha believed that kind words could resonate deeply and create ripples of positivity. By contemplating these three questions, we embrace a mindful approach to speaking. It encourages us to break free from habitual, reactive patterns of communication, leading to more meaningful and harmonious interactions. This practice of mindful speech, rooted in silence and reflection, not only benefits our personal relationships, but also fosters a more compassionate and understanding world. Lesson 7. The Path to Enlightenment The final, and perhaps the most profound lesson from Gautama Buddha, regards silence as a vital pathway to enlightenment. He taught that enlightenment isn't just an end goal but a journey, and silence plays a crucial role in this journey. In the stillness of silence, one finds the path, he would say. This profound statement underscores the belief that true enlightenment, the ultimate understanding of life and our place in the universe, is often found not in the noise and chaos of the world, but in moments of quiet. When we embrace silence, we create space for our minds to settle and our hearts to open. It is in these periods of undisturbed quiet that our deepest insights and understandings tend to surface. Unlike the distractions that bombard us daily, Silence offers a sanctuary where our thoughts can organize and our emotions can find balance. It's like stepping into a clear, tranquil pond away from the turbulent rivers of constant noise and activity. In these peaceful moments, we are able to reflect more profoundly on our experiences, our actions, and our true selves. This self-reflection is a cornerstone of Buddha's teachings on enlightenment. It's not just about understanding the world around us, but also gaining a deeper understanding of our inner world. In the quietude, we can listen to our inner voice, confront our inner fears, and acknowledge our true desires. Moreover, Buddha believed that silence aids in developing compassion and empathy. When we are silent, we become more attuned to the needs and feelings of others, as well as our own. This heightened awareness is essential for developing a compassionate heart, an important aspect of reaching enlightenment. For Buddha, the path to enlightenment was intricately linked with the practice of silence. It is a journey inward, a deep dive into the essence of our being, where we find clarity, wisdom, and ultimately, a profound sense of peace. As we cultivate silence in our lives, we too can embark on this path, discovering along the way the profound truths that lie within us and the world we inhabit. As we come to the close of our enlightening journey through the profound teachings of Gautama Buddha on the power of silence, we find ourselves at a moment of reflection. These lessons, steeped in ancient wisdom, are not just teachings from the past, but are beacons of light guiding us in our present and future. Embracing these teachings in our daily lives can lead us to a sanctuary of peace, a deeper understanding of ourselves and those around us, and a wellspring of wisdom. Silence, as Buddha taught, is not merely the absence of sound, but a profound teacher, a nurturer of patience and introspection, 
and a catalyst for true comprehension. As you go forth, let the echoes of these teachings resonate in your moments of stillness. Allow them to guide you in times of turmoil and in moments of joy. Remember, in the quietude lies the answers we often seek. We are deeply grateful for your presence on this journey with us. Your engagement and curiosity make these explorations worthwhile. If you found value in these teachings, please consider sharing this insight so that the serene wisdom of Buddha can touch more lives. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful videos that connect ancient wisdom with the modern world. Together, let's continue to explore and grow. Thank you for joining us, and may your path be ever enlightened by the profound power of silence.